Hello again, Padre Phil here. We'd love it if you were to come and join us at Veterans Chaplaincy on our Facebook page. With the Facebook page, we want to create a supportive spiritual community of veterans where we can come and share our thoughts, our stories, and our wisdom. So if you're watching this video, please do come and join us on Facebook. Anyway, what have you been up to during the lockdown? When all of this started, I must admit, I thought, great, a time to get all those things done around the house that haven't been done. And so I spent the first few days fixing, making, and tidying. But you can only do so much of that, and then the boredom sets in. And as lockdown continues, I was left pondering a profound question. You see, in order to save life, we've had to stop living. So what is the value of life? What is life worth? Now, don't get me wrong. This coronavirus disease is nasty and horrible. And even one death is one death too many. For those who have lost loved ones to this plague, it is particularly devastating. I'm not trying to set up some equation asking how many deaths are acceptable in order for us to continue to have life. I'm trying to find an answer to a much deeper question. What is the purpose of living? As veterans, we have all in the past put our lives on the line for things we thought were more important than life. We were willing to face death because there was a purpose, a mission, a higher calling. Yet here we are in lockdown, being told that there's nothing more important than life itself, and so life itself is on hold. The Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 1 says, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. What could he possibly mean by that? Some have asked if Paul was depressed at the time he said that. Did he want to die? Well, no, because in his next statement he says, If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labour for me. You see, what Paul had discovered was a purpose to his life. He had discovered something worth dying for, and so something worth living for. He certainly wanted to keep on living. That's an emotion we should be familiar with as veterans. We've all lived through times when we knew exactly what our purpose was, even in the face of death. Yet now, in the circumstances of this moment in time, many of us are left questioning our purpose. What is the value of the lives we have in lockdown. We live in a world today that is desperately trying to avoid death at all costs, and that is certainly the right thing to do at the moment. But as we come out of lockdown, there is a deeper question that needs to be answered. What is the purpose to life? What is it we are living for? In Mental Health Awareness Week, I think the greatest challenge to our mental health is the growing lack of purpose in society and in our lives. We seem to live to shop or socialise or do work. We seem to live for the Xbox, WhatsApp and Netflix. Life in our society today has become just so trivial. So let me ask you, as we come out of lockdown, have you found something worth dying for and so worth living for? For the Apostle Paul, the purpose to his life was the mission of spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. May I offer up to you that greatest of all purposes to life, the good news of the love of God. God bless. Ta-ta for now.